welcome again to Life with Jennifer. Continue to watch these videos. I am on the outside of the oldest church in the Western Hemisphere. And I am walking along and I'm showing you the old uh, perimeter of the, of the church. I'm going up these old steps. Let me step carefully here. Just to show you, I'm going in to get some history. I hope, I hope it is open. So these are the original steps. These are the original steps. You can look. This is the oldest church in the Caribbean and in the Western Hemisphere, located right here in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Jamaica. So I'm still walking on the outskirts. I'm still walking on the outskirts of the church. That gate is an old gate and it is locked. So I'm going around to the new gate. So as you look up, hope you can see that sign, the Anglican Church. The Cathedral of St. Diego de la Vega. So here I'm going around. I'm going around to see. So I'm going up another step and it seems like the gate is closed but the church is open. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is antique. Oh my God. The gate is closed. I really wanted us to go in. I visited before and wanted to go in to show you the architect of this church. But let me, let me see what I can read from here. This, this tower was erected and the above tabernacle removed from the inner walls in the year MDCCXV1, that's in Roman numerals, is Grace the Duke of Manchester, Governor John Lunan, Francis Simmet and church wardness. This cathedral was restored during the year 1901 of the glorious reign of Her Gracious Majesty Queen Victoria 1837 to 1901. So this is interesting. Look around from where I can. I haven't seen anyone to get on the inside just to show you what it is all about but I'm going to walk over here this is where the school for the church is see if there's anyone who could allow me and then when you look if you can look across you can see this is ancient this is old this is an old structure. Hi, good morning. Is there anyone over by the church who I can speak with? About? I just want to get some history on the church. Well, right here, but it's not work, so. So when is the best time I could come back? If not hard for you, we can come back Monday morning. Okay, Monday morning. All right, I'll definitely. Is there a time set? We, we know it's in our church. 
Oh, 930. Okay then. Thanks a lot. Right. I'll definitely come back. All right. All right. Okay, so she say no one is there for me to get inside today, but I will definitely come back and give you the full view of this historical town called Spanish Town. So I am going to walk over to the Catholic school, which was owned by the church. So I'm walking along. It is now called St. Catherine Primary School. It was a refurbished, right? Oh. Yeah. Let me see if I can cross down here. This place has such a rich history. Spanish town. It should be it should be so well preserved with this history, but I realize that it is neglected. It is neglected. So this is the school. I'm on the outside because I won't be allowed to get on the inside. If you notice on the sign, it says Jamaican Heritage. So I am so fascinated with this old town that I really want to preserve this history for the next generation. So I am walking on the outskirts of the Anglican so this is a part of the structure look at it this is so antique look at the windows right from the 18th centuries walking along showing you these ancient monuments oh lord what a history what a rich history this capital has huh? from the days of slavery look at this at that time i would not be allowed to walk on this street we have come a far away, it would be the kings and the lords and all those people who would be able to traverse here. If you notice all I'm walking, you're seeing the old brick structures. Yes. Look over there again, it's another. Another old brick structure so I'm going along I am walking along let me get up here I'm walking in the old capital of Jamaica Sure, you some historical buildings. Once they see the brick walls, you know they are ancient. These walls were built from the 16th, 17th, and the 18th century.
So I'm heading back to the square. And I mean, the sun is really, really hot. Ancient buildings. It's a privilege to be walking on history. Look over there. It's a privilege to be walking on the historical road in the old capital, Spanish town. Yes, it is. Right here in Jamaica. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Look at these buildings. Where else in the Caribbean? Can you find these historical buildings? This was the governor's house back in the 18th century. Let me just go around it, but as I said to you, there's not much upkeeping for these mon monuments see the bush has overgrown yeah beggar one are you getting up now all right thanks so walking in the sun i see this man with his guinea so i beg him guinea and he said i can take this one thank you So I'm picking them off. I am picking off the guinea off the stem. So All right, thanks here. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I get Guinea to heat in the meantime. This is all the fences all overgrown. Look here. This is history we are looking at. History. Yeah. Guinea tastes sweet, man. Whoa. Our soil also is so fertile. We are such a blessed island. Jamaica is such a blessed island. Hmm. These guineps are so, are so nice. Hmm. See them? Nice. Well, so I'm just walking down Easter Street again. Wow. Overlook. On the street of Istramwa. This generation pay no emphasis on learning their history. If they have known their history, we would have crime rate in Jamaica. Because who we should be rightfully fighting against. We are not fighting against them. We are fighting against ourselves. Black man fighting against themselves. And we are not the enemy.
Here you go, Mom. Yes, sir. Yes, my mother. You're mine. The real enemies who enslave our four parents and our ancestors. That's where the revolution should have been. But we don't take time out to study our history. And so we take it out on ourselves and we blame ourselves. We blame ourselves for everything. When the real perpetrators, they get away with everything. So, for now, I want to say thank you again for watching. As I go across here, I'm going to do some business. So God bless you and thank you again for watching. Continue to watch, share and to subscribe to Life with Jennifer. Bye and see you next time in my next video.